Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how you can change your skin here inside of Minecraft using the regular Minecraft tools, and we'll also be using paint.net to change the actual skin file. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and let's go ahead and switch out of the game here and see how we can go about changing the skin that you're using inside of Minecraft. Now there are two ways to load up your skin in the regular way of doing this, and that's here either from the Minecraft launcher, just go up here to skins right here, or you can go on to minecraft.net and log in using your Minecraft account and then change your skin there as well. But to do this, you'll have to have an actual skin file to work with. Let me show you where you can find the original file and then we'll see how we can modify that and then load that into the game. To do this, you'll need to have a couple of windows open first. This is just a regular computer window right here, and it's opened up to my C drive. My second window here is just opened up to a folder I set up on my C drive, just called Skins. You just need to have some place to act as a working file. It can be anywhere you want, and you can name it anything that you want. It doesn't matter. Let's now go back here, and we'll need to grab the jar file for your current version of Minecraft. So let's just click on here and type in percent app data percent. There we go. Go into Minecraft at the top, come down to versions. It's about right there. There it is. And in here, find your current version. And right now, 1.16.5. There it is. I'll open this one up. And you want the jar file. Now, if you're only seeing just one file in here, then you have to play this version once first. Make sure you play the version once because Minecraft downloads the jar file the first time you play. And you can just start it up and then close it right down again. As it's starting, Minecraft will go ahead and download that jar file. If you're not seeing the .jar and .json on here, then go up to View, go over here where it says File Name Extensions, and put a check right there. You'll then see the .jar and .json. Don't worry about what the icon shows over here. Icon doesn't matter in this case. Okay, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to right-click and drag it over here and make a copy of this. There we go. So you want to leave the original in here. Don't move that. Just copy it over into your working folder. Okay, we're done with this now and close that down. Then you need to open this thing up. I'll change the view here to large icons. It can be opened up with a lot of different programs. WinRAR can open this directly. 7-Zip can open this directly. You can open this up inside of Windows by using the Windows Zip program just by typing over the jar and making it say zip. There we go and choose yes. This can now be opened up right here with the Windows program. Just click on that, make sure it's selected. Go for it says extract right there. You can extract all or to be even easier, just right click on this. And I'm going to open this up in a new window right there. And we'll let this open up. There we go. Now in here, we want to go into the assets folder. So go in here, let's go into Minecraft folder. And then down here at the bottom into textures folder. In here, go into the entity folder and here, Scroll way down towards the bottom, and down here you find this called steve.png. Just make a copy of this. I'm going to right drag again, and copy, and there is the original skin file for the game. Okay, that's all set to go. We're now done with this. I can close this window down. You can keep this here if you want to use this in the future. That's fine. What we really care about, though, is the PNG file. Okay, I'll be working on this inside of my favorite editor for working in Minecraft, my favorite free editor anyway, and that's paint.net. And I'll put a link on where you can download that, and I'll put that in the description. Let's go ahead, I'll open up paint.net, and then I'll get this over into that program. Okay, here's the paint.net program. Let's now get that file into this program. I'll just bring back up that window. There we go. And you can just drag and drop this just like that. There it is. Notice it's a real small image. So you want to zoom in on this. I'll grab the zoom tool here. Let's just zoom in, get this much larger. There we go, about as big as I can fit that on this window in here. So here is the basic file, basic texture file for the character or the character skin. Now it's a bit confusing right now. Let me just explain this to you. It's in several sections. The head is up here. This is one leg, another leg down here. Your body is in here. There's an arm and here's an arm. Now the way this works is the side is on the left over here. The front view is in the middle. This is the face right there. There's the right side. There's the back of the head, top of the head, and the bottom. All of these follow that same basic layout. So the first one is the side, second one is the front, third is the right hand side, and the fourth is the back. Then this square is the top, that square is the bottom. Same thing for the body in here. There's your side, here is your front, there's your right side, there is your back. That's the top and that's the bottom. Same thing for the arms, 
and same thing for the other leg down below. All we need to do is just to paint this different to make our changes. Now, if you want to, you can be you know real cartoony, be real fancy, anything you want. Just keep in mind where it is that you're painting and what the look is going to be like. Again, it's kind of hard to see this. I'm going to take a rectangle here and I'll pull this down, put a rectangle just like that. Right inside here is the face. That's our face area. So if I was painting, I want to paint in here to keep the face. Let's say I just want to make a change on the color. We'll do something simple for this video. I'll just change the color of the outfit. And that's this coloration in through here. This is the top. There's the sleeve over here. And the other sleeve, of course, is down below. Let's go ahead and we'll change those. Let's adjust this window and get this the best I can in here so you can see everything. If I pull over here, there we go. We have all of that. I can move my colors right to here. And of course, down below this, we have the other arm right down there. Okay, we're going to be changing the color of the shirt. So I'll grab my rectangular selection tool and I'll set this at a new selection. And I'll just come in here and grab what I can just like that. Now, I'll change my selection up here to this next selection tool. This is add. And I can then pull the selection up into the rest of these areas and try to grab the whole thing as much as I can. It'll take a few steps to get this all selected, but it's pretty quick as you can see, just going through and adding in all those areas. There we go. Get that one and then right to here. And this section in here I can get pretty easily. And that. And then I'll scroll down towards the bottom down here and we'll do the same thing in here. I'll select in this and I'll select in that. So they're all now added in. So all of that shirt area is now selected as one big selection. Now to colorize this, let's make a new layer right here. So I'm doing this on a new layer and I have my color here set to a nice bright green. And then I'll just grab my paint bucket tool here and click inside and color that whole section that green. And there's that other sleeve down here will color that as well. There we go. So now they're both on the same layer and they're all colored bright green. Let's go ahead and just deselect that, edit and deselect. Now we can't see anything. There's no detail in here. We can change that by either changing the opacity or doing something else like changing the blend modes. Easy to do. Make sure you're still in the correct layer. Come down to this icon right down here where it says properties and here's your blend modes. On these you can change to all kinds of things. Just click on different blend modes and you'll see the effect this just blending the one layer into the other layer. And then color burn is kind of nice, kind of nice bright green. We'll do that one. Choose OK. Let's make sure that looks good down below. That does. OK, so we've gone through now and we have changed Steve's shirt. All we need to do now is just to save this file out. And it has to be a PNG file. It has to match the original file. So let's go ahead. We'll do a file and save. Notice how it wants to save it as a PDN file. This is your working file for paint.net. I'll save it like this first, choose save. What that does is it saves my layers over here. So I want to come back in the future and change the shirt. Okay, now we need to save this out as a PNG file. So file, save as, and down here, let's find PNG. Second option, there's the original right here. I want to save it on top of that. Choose save. We'll be replacing that, yes. Leave all those at their default settings, choose OK. Now, if it has to flatten these two layers into one layer, that's fine. Choose flatten and we're all done. Now we're looking at the PNG file and not the paint.net file, which we've already saved previously. So we didn't lose our layers. They're just in the other file. OK, so we're done now with this file as far as making our change on our skin. Let's close that down. There it is right there, and there's our paint.net file here for future use. Okay, now we can put this into the game. And you can use either technique, either the launcher, or you can do it up here at the minecraft.net site. So from the launcher, click on New Skin. Choose your model. We're using the classic model in here. Click on Browse, and then navigate to the skin that you just made. Let me go ahead and bring that up. And here we are, there's my C drive and our skins, and that's the file right there. Choose open. It then changes it to that file. These, there's our nice bright green shirt. I can choose save and use, and we now have this one saved. Notice how we still saved our other looks in here, so if I want to change back to a different look, I can easily do that in here. Let's just set this back to my spacesuit. I'll use that one. There we go. Now I'm currently logged onto my account, so this is also changing it over on Minecraft.net. Let's just close this one down. So that's changing your skin here inside of the Minecraft launcher. Close that. Let's say I wanted to change it over here inside of Minecraft.net. So you need to log in. I'll go ahead and I'll log into my account. 
There we go. Once you have logged in, just go to the skin section here. And again, you can choose your classic or your slim look. We'll be using the classic look. And then same idea. You simply navigate and upload that file that you just worked on. But first, here we go. There's the current skin right there. That's the spacer that I normally use. We can reset to your default right here, or we can upload right here. Click on select a file. And here we go. There is the folder for that. And again, we want the PNG file right here. Choose open. It then brings that in. And then once you're happy with what you see here, once you have the right file, then just upload that to the Minecraft servers. And it will then be the skin that will show up inside of your game. So let's go ahead and do that now. Upload. Uploading. Let's check our current skin. We'll scroll down. There we go. Let's now go back over to the Minecraft launcher. Make sure this skin is showing up in the Minecraft launcher. Let me bring that back up. Okay, here's the launcher. Let's check our skins right there. And there we go. There is our current skin with that nice bright green shirt. Okay, I'm going to now launch Minecraft and make sure that's showing up inside of the game. I'll just fast forward through this part of it and we'll take a look at it once I'm into the game. And there we go. There I am in the game with my nice bright green shirt. Now, of course, my normal player that I use has that spacesuit on and it took some time to paint that and then put that in the game. But I used the exact same technique for painting it and the exact same technique for putting it into the game. I just spent more time on the design of the actual look. But there you go. That's how easy it is to change your character and then put them into the game using the regular tools that are built here inside of Minecraft. Now I'll be doing a couple more videos about doing skins, showing you other ways of putting skins, making your skins, and placing them into Minecraft that are actually a little bit easier to do, a little bit more fun to do. We'll see those in the next couple of videos. Till then, I'll see you next time.